the call. That was... That was... Um, the torch has been lighted. Yes. Dawn is the son yes. who joined in the fight for his own native land. That is... That William has been Sivright. long forgotten, sir. By William Seabright. That is, that is not about what is going on here now. Well, 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 we have to bring it to that, Brother Moti. Uh, yes, I possibly. heard you talk about um, um, uh, Mussolini. Uh-huh. I happen to have been in England um, uh, after the war, of course. Uh-huh. And it was just for correction for yours. Um, and at the Yalta conference, you, you had Roosevelt, Churchill, and Stalin... And somebody had requested that the Pope be represented. Yes, sir. Th- and hold on, Stalin. Sir. I am well aware of that, sir. Yeah, yeah. But it, I did not tell the Prime Minister that it was Mussolini who uh, had said it. No, the I Prime didn't. Minister, sir. Yeah. The Prime Minister spoke of those words being Mussolini's words and approved them as the words of a fascist dictator. Right? And, and were co- was copying what he understood to be Mussolini's position. Right? No, I don't get that straight. I beg your pardon, sir? No, I, I heard you said it was um, uh, um, some, uh, the Pope had requested. Somebody had the requested, Prime Minister, somebody sir. Somebody had requested that the Pope be present at the Yalta conference. No, sir. And um, it was Stalin. Ho- hold on just a moment, sir. Yeah. Hold on just a moment. They, I am well aware, sir, yeah. that those words were the words of Joseph Stalin. Yeah, okay. Right? Okay, right, right. Um, the Prime Minister, though, in quoting them, yeah. was not quoting Stalin. He was quoting Mussolini. What Prime Minister? Prime Minister of Jamaica, sir. He did PJ an all? Patterson, sir. He did an all? I beg your pardon? He did an all? Oh, he did, yes. When, and, and what occasion? On the occasion when the, the Farkasen Institute um, put, made certain, um, I can't remember the details of it, but they said something in relation to him and his policies. And he said, as Mussolini said, um, of the Pope, how many troops does the Farkasen Institute have? Something to that effect. Uh, I can't remember that. And one occasion... Uh, well, he did say it. He did say it. The Prime Minister did say that. He did say that, sir. Oh, it unfortunate. Was, and it was published in the newspapers, I think, the Gleaner. Oh, uh, I uh-huh. thought that was coming directly from you. No, from me. Yeah, from no, you. Sir. Uh-uh. Yes, I want to call, call really to have the uh-huh. whole matter straightened out. Yes, because uh, the, the Prime Minister said it. Yes, you see, because well, um, what has happened, that there was a form of jealousy between um, Churchill and Roosevelt. Yes, 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 Churchill, yes, yes, yes. Roosevelt was always uh-huh. leaning towards... Yes, Stalin. sir, yes, sir. <laughs> We're wasting time here now. Yep. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, hello? Hello? Yeah, good morning, Mr. Perkins. Good morning to you, sir. Yeah, I see you get your friend here today, but he wasn't doing that good a job. Huh? So you got your friend, but he wasn't doing that good a job. Oh, yes, yes. They yes, made yes, a yes. fast exit, they <laughs> head off stone. <laughs> yes. And you are here, another one, say, my 15,000 cassettes on you. Eh? Another one, say, my 15,000 cassettes oh, on you. Oh, so? How flattering. And I'm going to write a book, kind of doing uh-huh. research. Uh-huh. He used to be there, but he made an exit some time back. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. They look like they're taping you all about well, to bring it to book. Yes, I'm sure of it. Uh-huh. Um, and, you know, if, if I had encouraged school children to stone a police station, do you think I would be here now? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. But you, you, I hear some of the comrades come with that line a uh, long time ago. Yes, of course they've been But the attorney general a very long time for him to find out his blunder. Yes. That he should have taken action against you a long time yes, ago. indeed. But he can do it now. Hey, but you as see. As far as I'm aware, there's, there's nothing to prevent him doing now. Mm, doing but you now. see, they decide to take action when the Jamaican people are getting ready to take action, including <laughs> the police. <laughs> 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 well, you see, um... It only shows you t- the, 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 that what is going on in the country, you know. Things are falling apart. Yeah. And when, when the police are seen behaving as they did yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. 
that should be seen not just as evidence not as, uh, of of police mis misbehaving right they should be applauded for taking a, well, a, I don't a, know a reasonable stand. I don't know that they should necessarily be applauded, but the, the point that I'm making is that we live in a country, sir, where large numbers of people, well, people generally are of the view that you're not going to get anywhere by, unless you are somebody of some importance. Mm. And I... The words in inverted commas. Of standing. Right? Of some, or, you know, genetically linked. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get anywhere taking up the telephone and calling somebody and said, look here, um, the drain is blocked. The rain it might fall in, in, in a week or two and we'll be flooded. Mm -hmm. so well, will, you, you are more will you do something about it? Right? That isn't getting you anywhere. Uh -huh. Right? People know that in order to get the attention, they're going to have to come out on Block Road and Bon Tire and all them kind of something. Mm -hmm. Right? And that is what was happening yesterday. That perception has permeated the police force. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. And, and the police have been trying for over a year. A year though, about two years. Well, I've heard a year. To get the attention of the, of the government on this matter. Mm -hmm. Right? And the government has been ignoring them. Mm -hmm. Right? All right. No, they may still ignore them, you know, because yeah. I see we are, the information man is saying that they're contemplating giving police, this will just power similar to the police. Well, um... So if you get the police, they <laughs> out of the picture, then they can use this will just to do police work. I am not sure that it is going to work as easily as that, so because, um, the, you know, the, poli the, the, the soldiers are trained to do what, um, the work of soldiers, uh -huh. not the work of police. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, if, if, if they continue to push the police in the way that they're pushing them, um, the consequences might be serious. Uh -huh. Right? So, I think it would not be a bad idea for Dr. Davis. And, you know, the government has worked itself into an impossible situation. And it is becoming... The, the impossibility of their situation is becoming increasingly more obvious. Yeah. Right? They are in no moral position to say to... They have no moral standing to say to people, make a sacrifice. Yeah, because right? of the level of what, corruption that exists around. A, uh, what sacrifice have they made? None whatsoever. Right? They give themselves 200, 103% increase in salary. And then turn around and tell the police they must, they must make sacrifice. Mm. And the civil servants. Yeah, man, they must eh? ogre, ogre they must, Yes, they must make sacrifice. Right? But they're not making any. Mm. And then on top of it, the corruption and all the monies that are going to people who are genetically linked. Yeah. <laughs> Look here, they're... I'm afraid I have to go. It's time for the news, eh? Sorry about that. We'll be back here in about 20 minutes. Imperial Optical Jamaica has five locations. Kingston Mall, Caledon and Melmac Avenues, Main Street Mandeville and Corner Lane, Montego Bay. Offering high quality designer frames from Europe and North America. The time courtesy of Imperial Optical is 12 o'clock. News comprehensive, powerful, powerful and credible. Power 106 FM Radio News Center. Good afternoon, I'm Dervan Malcolm with the Midday News on Power 106 FM from the Gleaner Power 106 News Center. Police Commissioner Lucius Thomas is now in an emergency meeting with executive members of the Police Federation. This follows yesterday's protest by more than 200 rank-and-file police personnel at the offices of the Ministry of Finance. The Gleaner Power 106 News Center understands that the meeting has been called to discuss breaches of disciplinary procedures by police personnel during the protest. The Federation's members were protesting in support of their demand for increased salaries and fringe benefits. 
There are reports that during the protest, Finance Minister Dr. Omar Davies's vehicle was blocked as he tried to leave the Finance Ministry. Dr. Davies spoke briefly to the protesters before going on to the Cabinet meeting, for which he was late. The Federation members went to the Ministry in a bid to secure a meeting with the Finance Minister yesterday to discuss some of their concerns. The Minister had previously agreed to meet with the Federation tomorrow. In the meantime, convener of the support group, Police Support Action Committee, PULSAC, Heather Robinson, is expressing disappointment at the behavior of those police personnel who were involved in yesterday's protest outside the Finance Ministry. I am embarrassed and hurt because persons who are charged and being paid with the responsibility of enforcing laws in our country should be able to set a better example and to through that example for people to believe that they ought to be sympathetic to their demands that are being made on the government. No, I think what happened yesterday has shown a very distasteful mood in the whole thing and people who are supportive are just now feeling very angry and hurt and I really can't even begin to think how it is that they will redeem themselves to the Jamaican people after their behavior yesterday. Heather Robinson, convener of the Police Support Action Committee, PULSAC. In the meantime, the Police Commissioner, Lucius Thomas, is expected to tour sections of Spanish Town later this afternoon in an attempt to arrive at solutions to the crime problems in the old capital. According to the President of the St. Catherine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Rudolph Green, any intervention by the police to address the crime problem in the town is welcomed. He says uh, the issue of extortion continues to plague members of the business community. Members of the Public Sector Monitoring Committee are now meeting at the offices of the Finance Ministry to discuss recent concerns about the Public Sector Memorandum of Understanding, MOU. The meeting is being chaired by the Finance Minister, Dr. Omar Davies. Gleena Power 106 reporter Dion Rose is at the Finance Ministry and she joins us now for an update. Good afternoon, Dion. Good afternoon. Can you tell us who are the persons attending the meeting at this time? Well, of course, you know, we have the government representative, Dr. Omar Davis, who is chairing this morning's meeting. And then you have State Minister of, in the Minister of Finance and Planning, Fitz Jackson, new Financial Secretary, Colin Bullock, Dennis Morrison from the Office of the Prime Minister, Trade Union Representative present are Dwight Nelson from the Bus Bustamante Industrial Trade Union, Wayne Jones, President of the Jamaica Civil Service Association, Danny Roberts from the National Workers' Union, and Lambert Brown from the UW, UAWU. Now, uh, when did the meeting start? The meeting got on the way around 10.30 this morning. Uh, have you had any words with those, any, any of the persons attending the meeting? No, no. The, they, they are, they are still locked in the meeting right now. And you haven't been able to detect the mood of the participants? No, uh, but it's, it's from the, from persons. From those from persons the, who are in the meeting. Right. Understand that it's an uh, intense meeting mm -hmm. and it's supposed to continue till way in the afternoon. And do we yet know of the specific matters being discussed at the meeting? Yes. One of the pressing issues to be discussed at, at, the mo at this morning's meeting is that the alleged breaches of industrial relations practices by government public entities. It is expected that uni trade union representatives will, representatives will be pressing the minister for, for a firm commitment that these breaches will be stopped. Also on the, the agenda is the issue of rising inflation. And the impact, obviously, on, on, on the economy and, 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 by extension, the workforce, no doubt. Well, we want to thank you for this update, Dion, and we look forward to keeping in touch with you for the rest of this afternoon to okay. get more on that uh, Public Sector Monitoring Committee meeting. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Glenda Power 106 reporter, Dion.